Hello, welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today we're going to be looking at the insides of a projector. A few months ago I bought my son a new projector and uh, because I'd already had one for us and he's trying to do up his room and he wants a few bits of bobs. So we didn't have a lot of money to spend but I'd already bought a projector for £40 off of Amazon for us and it was it was just good enough. It, was, it wasn't, you know, super high quality but for the price it was a very good projector. And because it was the second one I'd bought from them, they asked, you know, was everything okay with the first one? You, you know, did it break? So they were, they were want, wanting to give me a replacement rather than me buy another one. And I explained, oh no, I want it for another room, etc. And um, I got talking about that if it had broken, I, um, I tend to fix that kind of thing. And it's something I quite enjoy. And they said, well, we've actually had one sent back recently that's broken. It's the first one we've had from our upgraded 2022 ones and we'd like to know what's wrong with it and is it something that's, you know, gonna fail in a lot of the other ones or is it just something that's, you know, randomly broken? Um, could they send it to me and I'll have a look at it? They said, if you don't find anything wrong or if you can fix it, whatever, keep it. Um, if you do diagnose it, give us a shout so that we can, you know, look into it. And I was like, yeah, of course, I'd love to do that. So they sent me out this broken one. Apparently it's making quite an odd sound when it starts up. And um, let's see if we can fix it. If we can, that means we've got three of these projectors. Um, I, won't, I won't need three. I've got a friend who needs one so they can have it. But um, yeah, let's see if we can fix it. I honestly don't know if I can. I don't know what the actual problem is. It could be something as simple as something's got in the way of a fan. It could be something as difficult as there'll be a power supply issue. I just don't know. Anyway, before we start, I'd like to thank Paul and David, my patrons. You guys rock and I love all the support you've given me. You really have helped build this channel up a bit more and you've really helped give me the confidence to, you know, keep fighting and keep doing it. Uh, if you guys are interested in becoming a patron, just pop over to Patreon, there's loads of perks and everything. But anyway, let's get on. Right, so what we're going to do then is we're just going to have a look at which fan's making the noise. And if it is just a fan that's broken or if it's somewhat something on the motherboard not giving it enough power. You know, there's only certain things I can fix. And mainly if we get in and we find out it's... Um, something to do with the power supply or something to do with the motherboard i'm not gonna be like when i say the motherboard i mean like the pat you know the the circuitry that does all the thinking um then i'm not gonna be able to do anything about it i'm just hoping it's going to be something simple if not this is a waste of time basically now you'll notice there's lots of screws on this here here and so on i'm only going to get the deep ones around the edge because these are probably ones that connect other things to it and always, always look underneath stickers. I'm feeling with my fingers. I don't think there's one under there. Okay, so that's all of them off, and I'm just gonna have a look around. So yeah, we need to take the lens cap off because it, oh no, I don't think we needed to, but we'll have a look. Now, if this doesn't come off, then we might have to check under the feet, because that's normally somewhere where there's, um, there's screws. Could also be clipped together. Let me have a look around a sec. Nope. Oh, I'm such an idiot. I've missed a screw. Oh, what a div. God, I wonder why it's not coming off. What an idiot. That's a bit easier, isn't it? What a div. Right, okay. Now we want to go very careful and very slowly with this. This also has capacitors in it. Um, I'm not sure if we can get a view of that yet. Just here, just down in here. So you can get a nice shock from this even after it's been unplugged. So please be careful. Let's unscrew this. Okay, that can go out of the way.
Am I screwed here? Here we've got a heat sink and fan. So, getting closer to the innards. I didn't want to go this deep, really. There's a fan there. Right. Now, let's have a look. That's that one. I'm going to be unplugging this fan because it's this one, I believe, that's broken. Possibly. Let's just make sure. Yeah. Now, this is covered in a, a, an adhesive to stop these coming out. Okay. Now this, all this black tape here is to stop light getting into the actual place where the, um, uh, the what's it called, lens and all the innards are. There you go. Okay, we've got an LED at the back that's connected to a heat sink and there is a heat sink and fan connected to a lot of this bits and bobs. And this is focused out through a uh, Fresnel lens onto the actual screen. And the screen is here and basically just like a normal monitor, just without any of the backing or any of that stuff. So the, the light is fired straight through the screen to another lens and another, fo um, another piece of glass, then through another Fresnel lens, which you can use this, this here would move this uh, lens up and down to change the pitch of the screen, hits a mirror, and then straight through the lens, which you can focus just here. Now we should be able to remove all of this. Yep. Let's have a look. Okay, obviously this, this is a 12 volt um, fan, and this is a four volt battery, but I can hear something clicking. So let's have a look. Doesn't seem to be anything physically in the way. With little tabs like this, just go really careful. They're so easy to break. Okay. Let's have a listen again. Okay, I'm not sure if it's picking up. It's still clicking. It's like it's slightly off balance. So let's have a look. Oh, too far. Right, didn't mean to snap that off. Let's have a look. Okay. We can easily stick that back down. We've got a little bit of an issue with, oh. It's not very well soldered to the negative, which I'll resolder now. 
Oh, because I get questions, you'll see I'm not wearing my wedding ring at the moment. I've been working in a lot of wetness and it actually caused my finger to get sore. So that's why I'm not. There's no, no hidden reasons for that. I know the internet likes a wild gossip, but unfortunately not. Okay, and that is absolutely silent. So yes, it was sticking to something to do with the case. So, if we put this back on, and just gonna solder that bit back on properly. Now I'm gonna glue this back down, but I'm gonna do it in such a way that it's not touching the back. Um, but I just got to figure out how. It's going to be a hit and hope. I should really have just bought a new one, but I don't like to do that. I'd, I'd rather try and fix them first. Um, and as I say, there was something just scraping against the edge. I don't know what it is or what it was. I'm wondering if it had just, not manufacturing, but I wonder if it was just something had pushed on it a bit too much or, I don't know. Right, I've left it to dry for only about 10 minutes, maybe. Uh, I just want to see if we've got rid of that buzzing sound. As I say, I'm, you might not have been able to hear it, I'm not sure. It was a lot louder when it was in the actual case, and it was a lot louder when there was actually 12 volts, not 4 volts, but, you know. Ooh. That sounds much better. Now vibrating on the table because I've taken the top casing off, but. Right, let's put the case back on and see if that's still the case case. Too many cases. It's just as important to be careful putting these little tabs in now as it was taking them apart. Ouch. Right, now this is the test. Oh wow, that's so much quieter. Right, okay, so let's plop it back in. Um, which way round was it? Let's have a look at this. Um, this way, was it? Oop. Now I always do this, as I start getting excited about doing a project, I start forgetting which way around bits go and start looking at bits. Okay, I'm gonna start getting this put back together and then we can see how it's done and whether it's fixed it or not. Okay, I've got it all plugged in, but I've got it connected to a remote control so I don't have to be anywhere near it when I turn it on, just in case I've messed something up. And I'm all, I always do this, and I will do for the rest of my life, you know, it's just a safety thing. But, right, let's go. So far, so good. Uh, can you see the green lights come on in the camera? Possibly, possibly not. Now it's gone red like it's supposed to, and turn it on. Wow. 
Wow, I fixed it. And it's working. Right, there you go. A very, very simple fix. And um, I was able to tell them that I think it was probably just a one-off problem due to it being the fan. I think what might have happened was the fan was just squished quite hard and it was then rubbing against the, ca uh, the case. And so when I pulled it out, obviously I broke it, but um, it uh, when I re-glued it, I glued it away from the case and then there was none of that sound. So theoretically that should have hopefully fixed it. Um, I said um, that, well, the fix I've done for my friend, it's gonna break at some point. Um, Super glue is not as strong as the normal plastic. I said, when it does, give me a shout and I'll, I'll buy you the actual fan you need. It'll be, it'll be about three pounds and um, I can just reinstall that and that'll be as easy as that. But um, yeah, not a hard fix. And it was nice to actually look inside a projector. I hadn't taken a projector apart before, so I quite enjoyed being able to look inside, etc. Anyway, if you'd like to just pop over to Patreon and see what perks you could be enjoying, if you can afford to, that would be fantastic. If you can't afford to do that, I'd love a like and subscribe. That would be great too. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.